Okay, next is Chelsea Terizi. Adults' Perspectives on Protecting Gender Diverse Youth. Her program is a PhD in Combined Counseling and School Psychology, and the faculty advisor is Dr. Elisa Persinger. Let's take a trip back in time to elementary school. You're sitting in your homeroom class. Your teacher just asked you to solve a word problem about how many cookies you would need for a bake sale if there are 250 students in your school, and it involves fractions. All of a sudden, you just have to use the bathroom. You get excused, you walk down the hallway, where you run into your friend Jen. Jen who used to go by Alex in the first grade, but now you call them Jen. They are a transgender student. When you get home later that day, you tell your mom what you and Jen talked about while avoiding fractions. It turns out how your mom reacts to Jen being in the same bathroom as you could be due to what we found in our study, including how she voted in the last election, if she attends church, and if she has ever met a transgender student. In our schools, you are a girl or a boy. There is no gray area. Many adults view gender as a binary concept, only male or female. When adults in a transgender student's life look through this kind of lens, their behaviors and actions directly impact transgender students' safety and inclusion. Because of this, we wanted to explore the attitudes and beliefs of adults in the United States towards transgender youth in order to understand how they choose to support them in their communities. Our study included 765 adults that best represented the 2017 U.S. Census. These adults took a demographic survey, an implicit attitudes test, a test that measures attitudes that are hidden from us, an explicit attitudes test, a test that measures attitudes that are obvious to us, and finally, the adults rated their support for school policy practice statements for transgender youth. It turns out, the way we feel about transgender youth directly impact how we vote for policies and practices that protect them. Let me break down what we found for you. Even if an adult knows a transgender individual, they still may not want to include them in their community. Even if an adult has children of their own, they may be more likely to support policies and practices that exclude transgender youth in schools. However, adults without children are more likely to support these practices that include students. If an adult knows what the word transgender means, they may be more likely to support inclusive policies and practices for these students. Within Christianity, Catholics are more likely to support transgender youth than other groups. And to surprise all of you, older adults are more likely to support inclusive policies and practices for transgender youth than younger adults. The impact of this study is far-reaching. The more we know how adults think and feel about transgender youth, the better we can develop policies and practices that support their safety and inclusion. It may allow us to live in a world where your mom doesn't react to Jim being in the same bathroom as you, but instead tells both of you to stop avoiding fractions. Thank you. <laughs>